we are back with cleaning windows and we're going to do part B cleaning the outside skylights we already done part A and just to recap we identified two equations one for the circle and one for the parabola and we have found the coordinates of both intersections in building 1 and building 2 and then we took the y value the height in building 2 minus the height in building 1 the y value to find the difference and then obviously find out how much higher the skylights are in building 2 compared to building 1. If you haven't watched part A, the video link will be down in the description box below. Okay, part B. Let's have a read through this. So it makes a tangent to the wall of the building. So, this is the tangent, and that's the new uh, ladder outside, the new position. Sam thinks the best gradient for the ladder is neg negative 2. This basically means the gradient equals to negative 2. Calculate the coordinates of the base of the ladder, that is this coordinate here. And assuming that the ground level y equals 0, so that means this coordinate will be x something 0. Okay, to do this, we need to find the intersection of that, which is when the circle formula and the new position of the ladder outside formula are equal to each other and then you could do simultaneous equations using substitution or elimination but substitution is easier so now we need to find the equation of the new ladder since the standard form of a straight line equation is y equals mx plus c we can substitute minus 2 into m because m is a gradient so we get y y equals minus 2x plus c and that's the equation for the ladder outside and then remember the circles formula was x squared plus y squared equals 49 so now we go into our notes part b we have two equations x squared plus y squared equals 49 and then y equals minus 2x plus c then we substitute y into y squared then we get x squared plus y squared equals 49. Hang on. I sometimes forget to substitute. Minus 2x plus c squared equals 49. x squared plus 4x squared because minus 2x times minus 2x gives you positive 4x squared. Minus 2xc minus 2xc plus c squared equals 49 if you expand that i just haven't written that down in the expanded form or in the factorized form now we're going to combine like terms 5x squared minus 4xc plus c squared equals 49 move to 49 over minus 49 equals 0 then we're going to use the discriminant, the equation, the formula for that, b squared minus 4ac, to calculate the c value. To do that, we, well, to prevent confusions, we're going to write the standard parabola formula. And then we're going to identify what is a and b and c sometimes i get confused with this so that's why we're going to do this so five is the a value and then minus four and c is going to be the b value as x and x goes together and then this whole entire c squared minus 49 is going to be the c value so we get for b squared minus 4ac, b is minus 4c 
So minus 4c squared, minus 4, as written here, times 5, because that's a value, and then times c squared minus 49, equals 0. Then we get 16c squared, minus 20, and then c squared minus 49, equals 0. And 16c squared minus 20c squared plus 980 equals 0. Because minus times minus gives you positive. And then what you do here now is that you combine like terms. You get minus 4c squared plus 980 equals 0. And then minus 4c squared equals minus 980 and then c squared equals minus 980 divided by negative 4. Then c equals square root of minus 980 divided by minus 4. Let's solve the middle one first, which is 200, 245. So that equals 245. So square root of 245, then we get... Now, it should be plus and minus square root. So we get plus or minus 16.5. No, I've got it wrong. 15.652. Now, we can put C into... Substitute C with 15.652 in our formula, y equals minus 2x plus C. We put y equals minus 2x plus 15.652. The reason why negative 652, no, negative 15.652 is incorrect is because when it, in, when it has this slope, it intersects somewhere in the positive, not intersects somewhere negative. So that's why positive 15.652 is correct. So that's the equation for a straight line. And now what we do is that we calculate x by substituting y equals 0 because when we we identified that it will be x something 0, so we just plot in y and get x. So we get 0 equals minus 2x plus 15.652. And then we should get 15 point minus 15.652. Divide by minus 2 equals x, because you move that over, and then you divide by negative 2. And then we should get x equals, let me do that in the calculator. Seven point eight two six meters, and then the final coordinate. The coordinate is 7.8260. Now you should write one sentence of the coordinate for the base of the ladder is 7.8260. And then that should be um, it for part B and for cleaning windows. And then in the next video, I'll probably do theory.